It looks like one of WWE's top stars will be playing a role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Photos and videos emerged on Monday of Seth Rollins on the set of Captain America New World Order, which is being filmed in Atlanta. The movie is currently scheduled for a May 3rd, 2024 release. Details about Rollins' role in the film haven't yet been confirmed, but it's believed that he's playing a member of the Serpent Society. New World Order is the fourth movie in Marvel's Captain America franchise. Seth Rollins is facing AJ Styles at Night of Champions to determine the inaugural WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And for the first time since 2014, Sami Zayn is set to wrestle in Saudi Arabia. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are scheduled to defend the WWE Tag Team titles against Roman Reigns and Sola Sokoa at Night of Champions from Jeddah on May 27th. In 2019, our own Dave Meltzer reported that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Arabia requested Sami Zayn not be on WWE shows from the country due to his Syrian heritage. Zayn's parents immigrated to Canada from Syria in the 1970s before he was born. Diplomatic relations between Syria and Saudi Arabia broke down in 2011 following the Arab Spring Movement and the Syrian Civil War. The Arab League suspended Syria's membership on November 16, 2011, and Syrians were prevented from traveling to Saudi Arabia. Sami took part in a house show tour from the region in 2014, but has not performed in the country since WWE and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia entered a multi-year agreement in 2018. Earlier this month, the Arab League voted to reinstate Syria's membership. Syrians, including Sami Zayn, are once again permitted to travel to Saudi Arabia, opening the door for him to perform on WWE shows from the region. Tessa Blanchard appeared on the McGuire on Wrestling podcast while on tour recently with Canadian Wrestling's Elite. She expressed gratefulness to the fans that have been very accepting of her. However, she said she wants to do more and that she has unfinished business in wrestling. Saying, I'm 27 years old, I do feel confidently like I'm one of the best there is and I can go with the best. So I won't stop pushing for that, but I've got other things going on too. I think it's important to have that balance of knowing who you are outside of the business because the business isn't always going to be there for you. Tessa Blanchard has also signed with XPW recently. She'll make her debut for the promotion on May 27th. In January 2020, multiple wrestlers made public statements regarding Blanchard's backstage behavior. In in particular, Blanchard was criticized for allegedly using a racial slur during an argument with La Rosa Negra. Last month, Blanchard and La Rosa Negra appeared in a social media post together, seemingly having buried the hatchet. John Cena talked about his WrestleMania 39 match and also what he can do at this point in his career. In an interview with Busted Open Radio, John Cena talked about his match against Austin Theory back in April, saying the match he had at WrestleMania 39 was the match he felt confidence that he could deliver at this stage of his career. To which he said, I wish I was still there every day. My body can't do it anymore. I don't want to give the consumer a bad product. What I have is what you saw at WrestleMania 39. That's what I feel confident that I can deliver and that's really nice for here and there. That's not every day in WWE or sports entertainment. Sports entertainment has raised the bar and I'm humble enough to say that's awesome. You're supposed to leave it better than you found it. And last night on Raw, we got two more matches added to the Night of Champions card. An Intercontinental Championship match plus Trish Stratus versus Becky Lynch have been added to WWE Night of Champions. After winning a number one contenders battle royal on Raw, Mustafa Ali will challenge Gunther for the Intercontinental title on Saturday, May 27th in Saudi Arabia. Also added to the May 27th premium live event, Trish Stratus will take on Becky Lynch in singles competition. Becky Lynch declared that she would face Stratus at Night of Champions on Raw, and a contract signing for the match has been announced for next week's show. Other matches that we already knew were occurring include undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defending against Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa, Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes, and the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament Finals between Seth Rollins and AJ Styles. Earlier, we were talking about Seth Rollins and things he's doing in Hollywood, 
Well, what about Rhea Ripley? Is that something she would be interested in? In a recent interview with Peter Rosenberg of the Cheap Heat podcast, Rhea Ripley said she would be interested in doing action or horror films, saying she took acting classes for two years and was even offered a movie role. However, she didn't give any additional details, only saying she could not do it due to her schedule being so hectic. She also added that maybe after wrestling, there might be one or two she could do. Additionally, Ronda Rousey returned to Raw last night with her sights set on the WWE Women's Tag Team titles. After having been absent since WrestleMania, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler attacked Raquel Rodriguez on last night's show. Rousey told her that if she doesn't defend the women's tag team titles against them, she'll receive the same beating every single week. Rousey had been out of action with a fractured arm since March. Despite the injury, she did compete in a four-way tag team showcase match with Baszler at WrestleMania 39. Dave Meltzer writes that tomorrow could be among the most important days in AEW history. Meltzer wrote that at the Warner Brothers Discovery Upfronts, they are expected to announce the new television show, AEW Collision, believed to be airing from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern on Saturday nights on TNT. The belief is that the show debuts on June 17 at the United Center in Chicago, which would also be the return of CM Punk. He wrote, The idea is a brand split of sorts, although the actual makeup of what that means is in question, and one higher up in the company said they believe the final format and ideas will change until the debut and probably will be tweaked after as well. He also said that multiple sources within the company have indicated that Tony Khan has been very tight-lipped about everything. Meltzer wrote, one key executive noted to us a few times that what they have been told regarding television was far different from rumors. But at this point, they and the top talent past the point of the brand split, the return of Punk, and the Collision Show, people have not been told anything. Also adding, on the Warner Brothers Discovery side, those who have inside contacts with the company also confirmed the same things but had no idea of any terms regarding the new contract. Meltzer closed out his article by saying, Warner Brothers Discovery would have to ink a new deal at least for Collision. The deal for Dynamite and Rampage expires at the end of September, but Warner Brothers Discoveries has the option to renew that deal with a raise in money, although at nowhere near the level speculated through the end of September 2024. And last but not least, Fightful Select reports that AEW Fight Forever is coming soon. That sources believe an announcement is coming sooner rather than later regardless Regarding the game. Fightful also added that at one point the internal hope was that it would be released in the fall of 2022, but those working on the game had stated as of early April that the game was doing well, but not 100% done. They also added that the game is said to be rated T for teen and had to tone down some of the gore and blood in order to be able to reach that rating. Alrighty, that is it for this episode of The Latest. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below on any or all of these stories. And we'll catch you back here on the next episode of The Latest. Before you go, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. And if you missed our previous episode, feel free to click on the screen.